we start our descent to Alia's broken bow area. Our mission is to make a long horizontal penetration to the main bulkhead. As you can see, precision buoyancy and trim are essential for safe penetration. Otherwise, you will stir up silt with your fins, and the visibility will quickly reduce. After about 70 meters of penetration, we reach the main bulkhead. We explore the ceiling area, where we find entry points for future exploration. The lead diver signals the turnaround. The team checks runtime and starts the return journey. As you can see, rust is raining down already. This is one of the major problems with open circuit penetration. When the diver's bubbles hit the ceiling, rust is dislodged. Visibility is quickly affected. Rebreathers are much better suited for penetration. They do not create any bubbles. Slowly we reach our exit. The team regroups. We check our runtime and then start our ascent. After one hour surface interval, we are keen to enter the water again. To minimize our decompression, we plan this as a multi-level dive. Our first mission is to explore the seafloor near the stern. We want to check if Alia had any means of propulsion. The stern casts a dark shadow, but our powerful lights cut through the gloom. It is a serene and peaceful environment. We do not find anything conclusive, but we notice that Alia's stern curves at an unusual angle. We would like to stay longer, but as planned, we reluctantly ascend to the weather deck. Our mission here is to explore Alia's superstructure, 
examine her deck fittings and find entry points for future penetration. The lead diver enters first and then signals for the others to follow. Once again, you can clearly see the precision buoyancy and trim which is required for safe penetration. We then proceed forward towards the open area of the weather deck. Here is a large capstan. We make a mental note to organize a net clearing dive so we can clean up Alia's deck. Alia is almost a hundred meters long and her deck is about 30 meters wide. Her deck is so big that you can easily think you are on the seafloor. Here we find a promising entry point which appears to go straight down to the lowest deck. We will explore this on a future dive. We then decide to turn around and head back to the stern. We have some bottom time left and want to explore the superstructure again. We enter through another entrance this time and slowly make our way across. Then we exit, check our runtime, and start our ascent. <laughs> 